Hello, my name is Ilona and another DNA site, uh, your DNA portal. So, this one also has uh, different calculators, ancestry and health. They have some calculators, Eurogenes K7 results. No, actually not, not surprised at all about these results. So this one is quite close to my um, family tree DNA ancient populations or something. I don't remember how it was. They have also this uh, hunter gatherers, farmers, and metal age invaders or something like that. So this one is quite close EU test K13 which is again maybe more recent and the South Baltic East European North Central European Atlantic West Med it's Mediterranean or something like that West Asian South Asian well, this one is very, very close. Uh, well, okay, maybe South Baltic seems quite low, but again, it depends how far back do they look. And also how far back actually any of the tests can look. It's more like speculations anyway. MDLPK33. Um, not sure about this one. <laughs> This uh, looks quite wrong for me, and I will try to explain you why. Because I have here West European 45, okay, almost 40. I don't know, it's a lot. Okay, East European 40%, it's okay. Finno Ugric, almost 5%. Yeah, it, it's. But Baltic again, only. It, okay, only nine, almost nine percent. It's quite low. It, I know my ancestors like few generations ago, and forty-five percent. It's quite a lot, it, which means I have I have one parent who is West European, or two grandparents West European, or I don't know, four great grandparents probably. West European, which is not true. I could believe 15%. Well, maybe 20 also. It depends how do they look or what. Or what. But uh, only 45. Well, again, there is no uh, borders in DNA. It depends. Well, if maybe if they take some part of Poland as in West European. Again, how it's well, and on many of these um, DNA sites, for example, on Ancestry Poland is Eastern Europe, and Germany is Western Europe. But these two countries are very close together and they very often overlapped somehow these borders all the time changed so how they could possibly distinguish for example Polish DNA and German DNA which are in the regions which are quite close it's I think it's impossible and how you can say that German is how you can put this line that Germany is uh, in the west and Poland is east it's impossible so Probably, yes, but this one is comparing to all DNA tests and comparing to all calculators everywhere. West Europe, here is this one is the most highest for me, therefore, mm, I don't know. And yes, and also they have this uh, health report or something similar probably to 23 and me. Uh, traits, health risks. Inherited conditions, drug response, all this. I think I will not look at this now. Oh, well, okay. Your traits, why not? 
it seems quite correct. People with your genitive are more likely to have slightly straighter hair, which I have, to not have curly hair. Yes, people with your genotype are four times more likely to have blonde hair and blue eyes, but I don't have blonde hair and blue eyes. My hair is quite typical Latvian hair, which is, uh, I don't know, wait a minute, what type of color it is. It's like brownish, grayish something, which we call like Latvian gray. <laughs> And um, my eyes actually are more greenish, uh, grey green mix, something like that. But well, of course, it, it's four times more likely. It doesn't mean that necessarily I will have this blue hair and blue eyes, but it means I have this gene. So uh, red hair. This variant, one variant I don't have. Another variant. And uh, eye color, blue eye color is found in 99% of people with your genetive. 99%! But I don't have blue eyes. No, it's not like I want to have blue eyes. I, uh, I am okay with my eye color. I actually like my eye color, so I don't mind, but well. Yeah. I are more likely to be lactose tolerant and digest milk. But okay. Uh, and fast caffeine metabolizers, I don't know how it's important. And um, people with their genotype have longer telomeres. People with their genotype have a better chance of living to 100. Yes, uh, this uh, I think it's true also. Uh, I don't know yet, of course, uh, if something... Also, so it uh, doesn't mean that people still can die from accidents or some illnesses and something like that, but in my family, especially females, I think, lived quite a long... Well, actually, not only females. My grandmother reached almost 90 years, but she was also quite... not very good health, probably. But still... Uh, and my grandfather also lived something like 85, well, okay, it's not 100, but again, he had an accident uh, when he was young and almost died, so, yeah. <laughs> People with our genotype may have a lack of empathy. I don't know. And blood, people with your genitals are not blood type O. Okay, well, I, yes, I am not blood type O. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Another DNA portal. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.